Hello everybody, here's a little video which I thought you lot might want to see. Um, we just bought a Massey Digger, so I'll just show it to you. Here it is, it's a 1966 Massey Ferguson 3165R. Bought it in a local farm sale on Friday, today's bank holiday Monday. And it all seems to work quite well. It's 50 shades of yellow, it's all different, it's been painted out a million times. Very good, strong machine. 203 engine, starts on the button, puts a bit of weld into the bucket. The original alloy badge. Let's do that on the side. 3165R. Supplied by Kellens in Bridgewater, local machine. Apparently when it was new, it was digging peat on the moors. And I'm waiting for the, for the V5 to come back for it, and then I get it taxed. I'm just playing about with it, trying to learn how to use the controls properly, because four levers is surprisingly difficult when you're used to a slew. Yeah, I think it's a good good machine. Didn't overpay for it, which is good. And it was so local, I drove it home. I just filled the torque converter up now, and it's a lot more responsive, albeit a little bit more difficult to get into gear. Now I filled the torque converter up for whatever reason. See, it's got the original wheel weights on the back and I expect probably the tyres because they're not too special original tyres front back I reckon and it's also got the proper little that funny bit that goes from the exhaust manifold up to there a lot of those crack and come off and they get botched back on but yeah it shines up pretty well that's just with a bit of polish on that in comparison to the rest of the machine got the original alloy handles I'm not sure whether there should be lights in here or not. Some pictures I've seen haven't, so leave that for a minute. I need to get a speedo cable if anyone knows where to get one from. See from the little gearbox on the back. That's the speedo on the dash. And I need to get the fuel gauge working. But other than that, I think all the other gauges work. See, for some reason the back act is white. Don't know why. But yeah, I'm really happy with it. So I've got to set you up somewhere and then you can see me attempting to dig. First I'll start the digger. The other view is a little bit shaky, I apologise, but I'll still put a bit of the video in. Right, let's keep going.
I think I did quite a good job of that. It's not particularly flat faced, but it's better than my last attempt, which was there, which I filled in. It's a good strong machine, it used to go right down to the clay. That ram just weeping, and so is the, dip, uh, the bucket ram. But that's it, the rest of it's. You see that main boom ram, he's, he's not even dripping. So, it's pretty good. Sorry for the pretty bad shots, but it's difficult to sit up on here and hold the thing. Yeah, you see, I'm slightly offset to the boom. But, yeah, I think that's a pretty good effort. It's good for a first video. Alright, thanks very much for watching. Cheers, bye.